Lesson 114, calculating area as a sweep. So we're going to draw some brooms here. So we have this broom, and this is the, the little parts of the broom. Here's a handle. Okay, if we wanted to find the area of a rectangle, if you imagine the broom sweeping all the way across, the area that it covers is the length times the height of the broom. So area equals length times height. So this is the area swept equals the broom width times the distance that it was actually swept. Now we're going to talk about an angle. So if we have this broom, this way, and then we're going to do one this way. So what we're going to do, it's only one broom, okay, so we're going to start here and we're going to sweep all the way around till we get to there. So we're just going to boom, and this is the end. Oh, I guess the, the little sweeper thing should be on the other side. So the area swept equals the broom width times the average of the distance pushed. Now we're going to have a magical broom, okay? Whose width changes. So we're going to start with a broom that is six feet, okay? So this is six feet. As it sweeps, it's getting smaller and smaller, and we're going to stop when it is one foot. So the, to find the area swept, we're going to average the two broom widths. Then we're going to multiply by the distance pushed. So we pushed it this distance, and we would do 6 plus 1 divided by 2. That's the average of the two broom widths. going to end just yet because I want to look something up here for 114. Let me just see this here. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.